Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto and today's video is a follow-up video. No, I'm just kidding. I wanted to be like Andy today and be outside and film a video. Um, we have some people in the house right now and Andy's watching a football game, Michigan and Penn State, go blue. Um, so I thought I'd come out here and do my quick intro only because I have one quick announcement. No, I got two. Make sure you stay tuned to Wednesday's video because something has come up this weekend and it's kind of altered my plans and of what I normally do. And I don't wanna give stuff away, but I've got to kind of change things and it'll be a different kind of vlog. And you'll see why you hit that notification bell so you get reminded. And then the nut, an, another big announcement I'm so excited to tell you guys these things I can't even talk is we are doing a live Andy and I together are doing a live on YouTube Friday this coming Friday I don't know what date that is today's the 15th the 7th 22nd I don't know you'll see I'll be promoting I'll take a picture and like send it off and all that but we're gonna be doing a live so we can interact with you guys answer any questions that you guys might have Maybe you want to know a little bit more about us. Maybe you want to know more about our journey, those kinds of things. We will be here to answer them. I can't wait to hang out with you guys. Hopefully eight o'clock is a good time. Some people might have lives and do things on Friday nights. We are homebodies and we like to be at home. So we thought we would do this. So look forward to seeing you guys there and let's get into the grocery haul. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is everything I got in the grocery haul today. I went to two stores. Surprisingly, look at all this. But not that much stuff for two stores, but most everything I got at Aldi, which is on this side. And over there, I thought I'd go to Winn-Dixie for the rest of the stuff. I don't know why. I was like, I haven't been there in a while, but I didn't have to get much. So it wasn't a big deal. Anyways, so I went in and uh, at Aldi's. I did get some more tofu. If you saw my recent TikTok or reel, I made a tofu fried rice that was delicious. I'm not going to make the fried rice again even though it's good, but it's so good to cut up the tofu and just kind of cook it up in that oil and get it all crispy. So I just wanted more of that. I did opt for, from what you guys were saying, when I can, I'm gonna try to get the grass-fed beef and I got the Aldi grass-fed, I think this is, yeah, it's organic too. This is 8515 nothing in it this is really good three pounds of it it was 19 bucks i remember back when it was 15 dollars. so it has gone up it is a little more pricey but my logic for it is not only is it good for andy and us but it's um he's not eating as much so it's not going to be that much more out of our pocket you know what i mean might as well if we can splurge a little bit and we do try to do that most of the time i think what we find the hardest is finding grass-fed like chicken and stuff i haven't ever really looked for it specifically so i'll have to do that better and some of this meat is not all grass-fed and everything i'm just making baby steps um corned beef brisket you guys know i made that in my what we eat in a day video last week and we just loved it so i'm gonna probably be meal prepping some stuff for andy for the week um something unexpected has come up you'll hear about that more in a little bit but um, I thought I would have that ready for him too. This is the corned beef, it's gosh. And now I know I can make it in the Instant Pot and it will turn out wonderfully. Um, I got some more butter. I still wanna make him the butter bites, the, the brown butter bites. I might be doing that today too. Thought I would get him a pound of ground pork. This is uh, Aldi's Never Any brand, which means there's no antibiotics, hormones, all those kinds of things. I don't know if it's grass fed or any of that. It doesn't say it on there, but I think it is a better option. Wasn't sure how much bacon we have. I think we might have like half a pack left. So I went ahead and just got another one because you know, you can never have too much. Um, last week I got prosciutto, diced prosciutto. And what I meant to get was this, the diced pancetta, which the prosciutto was still delicious, but this fries up more like bacon. So I thought I would get that. It's just uh, something you can mix with eggs or just eat straight. I don't know, it's delicious. Um, here's something new that I've never purchased before. This is called beef shaved steak. And basically it looks like steakums, but in more of a real raw form. You know, I don't know, it looks a little different than steakums. So steakums is just beef, but I'm sure it's going through some kind of process, right? This looks a little bit more fresh. I think it was like five something, five and change. I mean, I'll still get steakums, but I just thought this might be something different that Andy might like to 
you know, kind of chop it up, stick it in the skillet and chop it up, mix it with eggs, something like that. I don't know, but something different. Um, all these has, is still out of the chuck roast. Um, this I got at Winn-Dixie. Uh, let's see. It was how much? $6.99 a pound. So I think it was the same, but this is a big hunk of meat here. This one was like $19.78, but he hasn't had a chuck roast in over a week. So I'm sure he's jonesing for one. So I did get this one at Winn-Dixie when I was there. Um, I did get all these pasture raised eggs. Um, these were $3.89, I think, which is actually a really good price. Um, so yeah, and that's what they look like. In case you're wondering what eggs look like. And then Jordan wanted some more of the white cheddar cheese. She really likes the Aldi's brand on the Smart Pop or whatever it's called. At, at uh, Winn-Dixie, besides the chuck roast, I got some jalapenos. I'm out of my big jar. I finished it this week, so I got another huge jar. Needed some Swiffer Wet Jet Mop refills, so got those. Need some more mustard. See, it's a lot of stuff that's not food. Needed some more dishwasher tablets, cat treats, and then, oh, I did get these at all these. These were like $1.89 each. These are like wax melts that you put into your things. And um, I know my sister is probably gonna hate this because it's not the Scentsy brand. She's a Scentsy consultant, but these are cheap and available right away. So I tried them and they both smelled really good. So I thought this was like folly season and who doesn't love pumpkin, right? So that is everything that I got at the grocery haul this week. Let me know what you think down below and I will see you on the next one. Bye.